Good morning YouTube, welcome to Cody's Card Closet. We're going to try this again, this will be the third time we'll try and be successful this time around. Uh, the video kind of froze on me the last few times, so I'll try and go quickly and probably do it in segments, hope that's okay. So we're going to start with some things that have sold recently. One is the Giancarlo Stanton. It's a short print from the 2018 Topps Update set. It will be going out in the mail today, it sold for $3.39. And I know we talked about short prints. One way to tell, especially with tops, you can see right here, let me get focused for you. That code number ends in 030. That's going to be the code for a short print out of the base set. The base Stanton is him swinging a bat. For comparison, here's the base Brad Hand. Let me put the code down for that. As you can see, the code there ends in 990. So every base from the update set will end in 990. The, end, or the um, short prints will end in 030. So that kind of gives you an idea there. The inserts will have a whole nother code themselves. So those are the codes for the base sets. Every year of Tops has it, so feel free to check that out. Find out if you have some short buy, and it makes them a little more valuable. Hopefully you have a couple in your collection. Today's feature card is this Addison Russell Game Used Relic card from 2016 Top Strata. I know I discussed Game Used <clears throat> Relics a little bit yesterday when it came to the authenticated relics versus not authenticated. A lot of the high-end products like Strata do authenticate it, and they're some of my favorites. This is one of the few authenticated relics I have in my collection. So there's actually a number on that sticker at the bottom. You can type that in, and it'll tell you the specific game that the jersey was worn in. When others just say game used, you're not sure what game this is from. I'm pretty sure this one was actually worn in a 2015 game against the Kansas City Royals. Another thing about authentication, a lot of times if you go places that MLB is running events, I went to All-Star Fan Fest and they had autograph signings, they have MLB authenticators there. And they will actually authenticate the autographs as you get them. I highly recommend doing this. MLB offers it at a, as a free service at the events that they run. And then it's pretty much the exact same thing as a certified autograph that you would pull from a pack or buy online or from a hobby store. Because MLB has authenticated that that autograph is from that player. So that's just something to keep in mind. Always look for those authentication stickers. Definitely good to have those if they're available. The last section I want to touch on today deals with a little bit of fantasy baseball, some of the implications from the free agent signings. This is a Jed Lowry from my personal collection, really nice signature, and I love the Topps Allen and Ginter design, just really clean. You can get a really nice signature on it. He signed with the Mets for two years, $20 million. A couple other recent signings. He has Monty Grandall and Brian Dozier. I have a Grandall autograph, but it was through the mail, it was in black, it just didn't look the greatest so I just pulled a Topps Heritage for the visual here and I've yet to add a Brian Dozier autograph but as a Nationals fan I'll have to get on that before long if you have any you know feel free to let me know comment below but Jed Lowry signing with the Mets Grandall with the Brewers and Dozier with the Nationals I think all three were great signings I think Lowry's gonna hit towards the top of the order so he should score a lot of runs in that lineup good Mets lineup behind him He's also going to have a lot of position eligibility. I think in a yearly league, definitely target him to potentially be a second baseman who's going to get some time at third, first as well. So just the position flexibility alone is going to be great. Grandall being with the Brewers, definitely a great hitting park. He has the potential for 30 home runs. You really can't pass that up as a catcher. I'm going to target him in my yearly and my dynasty league. And Brian Dozier. I think he's going to bat 6th or 7th in that Nationals lineup. Should have a good opportunity to drive in some runs. Could potentially hit 20 home runs again. I'm unsure what's going on with his knee, so we'll see if the power comes back. But definitely someone to target, and I'm also looking at him in the Dynasty League as a late-round flyer. So thank you for tuning in again. This has been Cody's Card Closet, and we'll hit on some more cards as we move down the road. Thanks again for tuning in, and good luck collecting.